Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another My Motion Graphics tutorial. My name is Gustavo Maia, and today I'm going to show you how to install Motion Drop. Uh, now, I'm going to do this for uh, Macintosh version, but if you have, uh, if you're using Windows, the process is uh, pretty much the same. Uh, so let's get started with this and by the way I'm doing this because a lot of uh, you guys ask me how to do it so uh, once you go into mymotiongraphics.tv by the way this website might not look the same uh, as you're watching this video so you'll have this download section where you can find some pretty neat stuff like the sharp box, the illuminati and motion drop just go into motion drop and you'll find all the information you need to know about it, how to use it, um, some examples, some video examples, uh, some more video examples and experiments and whatever. And down here you'll find something very important, which is the donate. So you just need to click there and donate one million dollars into my account. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> All you need to do actually is to click over this download link and yes you can donate if you find fair, if you find that motion drop is really uh, a good tool, a great tool, an amazing tool and uh, if you find fair you can donate obviously I would be very thankful and if uh, you can afford it obviously. Okay so here's our downlo downloads. Uh, have here already uh, one that I just did before but anyway I just I'm just going to click over here and it will download instantly because it's such a sh just such a small file um, that you know it downloads instantly so just download whatever you want and here we have my motion graphics uh, motion drop let's just double click on that uh, you have the license and the license is pretty important so you've you know some of you guys have been asking me what can I do with it can I use it for commercial work can I use it for this or that please read the license everything is explained over there and it's a pretty short file uh, so please read it uh, and then you have my motion drop lib 4d okay so once you do that and you have this file over here Make sure you go into your Maxon folder. So if you're in Macintosh, you'll find it inside Applications and then Maxon. Okay, then you choose the version that you want to install. And if you're in the Windows machine, you you will need to go to the C and then to uh, Programs. I'm not really sure, yes, I think it's that, but basically you need to find where is Cinema 4D installed in your computer and you'll find this Maxon folder somewhere over there and once you find it you'll pretty much see the same that we're kind of seeing right here. And then all you need to do is go into your library and browser and just click and drag the the motion drop over there and it's done okay so I'm now opening Cinema 4D and it will pop up on my left screen so I'm gonna just drag it over here and maximize it and you you'll find motion drop over here in content browser go into presets and you'll find motion drop over here so another double click and there you go just testing to make sure that everything is running everything is working great just one last and final tip if you're planning on using motion drop frequently it's probably a good idea to right click on it and add to favorites so next time you open up con the, the content browser you see this star over here called favorites you can double click on it and you'll find motion drop right here so just an easier way to get access to it so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you did understand how it works and or how to install this tool properly 
and uh, I hope you enjoy it and once again if you did enjoy it if, and if you can afford please donate it will help me to produce some more awesome content and by the way before we say goodbye uh, don't forget to check out these other tools over here and there the process of installing them is pretty much the same and uh, although I've been adding some categories over here and there so right now you have the tutorials I have some awesome tutorials over here that you can uh, check out and learn some awesome stuff um, and you have some inspiration content which is pretty cool and I really enjoy to share this stuff with you guys I, I didn't I didn't make any of these but I just I just think that you know they're so awesome I need to share them with you guys okay so that's it for now I hope you enjoyed it once again blah 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 my name is Christophe Maya and I'll see you in another video until then bye bye